If you spend enough time on the internet, you may have seen this little scamp poke his head from underneath a table. Maybe you've seen some other screenshots as well and never paid it much mind. But who is this guy anyway, and why is this video off to a terrible start? Am I just feeling for time? Yes. Welcome everyone to the best TV show about video games, Game Center CX. A long time ago on a completely different YouTube channel, I made a video talking about video game shows that aired on the British Isles. The video did pretty good comparatively to other videos I poured my heart and soul into. At the end of the video, I teased a follow-up featuring Game Center CX. Well, I don't like to leave things undone. As it being April 1st, how about we move away from my usual topic just this once and talk about something else I am passionate about. So, Game Center CX started in 2003 and is ongoing today, which goes to show the popularity of the program. The show follows Shinya Arano, an employee for the Game Center CX company, and he gains his wage by beating video games. Way before this became an actual job for people who hate themselves. But that is all just background lore, as most episodes will just show Arano trying to beat a retro video game. These started out as just Famicom challenges, but as the seasons went on, newer consoles have been introduced. In fact, the latest season features Eco on the PS2, which uh, makes me feel very, very old. The show has other segments that break up the video game challenge, but the challenge is the main plot of the episode. Now, why is Game Center CX so good? Well, ultimately, the reason is Arano is an incredibly likeable and charismatic host. I mean, it's certainly not his talent at playing video games, that's for sure. Many times, Arano would fail at not particularly difficult sections in video games, making you sometimes wonder how he could possibly have died in that spot over and over again. You may think this would be frustrating, but Arano's personality doesn't let it get to him, and instead he will crack a joke. And this is the main draw of this segment of the show. Arano may not be good at video games, but he is persistent and cheering Arano on as he gets past a particular difficult boss or section is rewarding. And I can't really fault Arano's playing here because he's beaten some goddamn hard games, from Super Mario Lost Levels to Ghosts and Goblins. During challenges, Arano may get help from the assistant directors of the show. They will come forward to offer strategies, play a segment of the game, or just deliver some bad news to Arano. Each season swaps around the ADs, and each one has different chemistry with Arano. In between the challenge segments are brief interludes. These help the challenges from overstaying their welcome. The one that appears in every episode is the If You're Going to a Game Center, Try This One where a fan writes a letter to Arano to tell him about a local arcade he should check out. These can vary from a traditional arcade at a fairground, to a couple arcade cabinets inside a Dagashi store. Arano will then go around and play a few of the games that are on display, but most of the time he will find a pachinko machine and waste all his money there. <laughs> For someone who lives outside of Japan, where you are sooner to win the lottery than find an actual arcade, it's fun to vicariously look at the immaculate arcade cabinets with their bright lights and colourful buttons. The next segment is a segment that changes every season. They can be separate side challenges, discussing video game box art, or a variety of many other things. Because every season has its own segment, let me take you through a couple of my favourites. One of my favourite parts of old video games were the bonus sections, short pieces of gameplay that offer a brief distraction before the main game. In this section, Arano is looking to get a job bonus, but his manager asks that he needs to complete a bonus stage to be considered. Here Arano goes on to play a variety of bonus stages, and sees if he can complete them. He only gets one try, so it really is do or die. One thing I find super impressive is that because Game Center CX uses only original hardware, every bonus stage needs to be set up beforehand and left running on a separate system. Look at all the consoles ready to go! To catch a catch copy, in this game, Arano and two other crew guests compete against one another. The aim of the game is a variety of Famicom games are laid out in front of them. Then a tagline describing the game is read out to them. The contestants have to then figure out what the tagline relates to and grab the cartridge. A fun quiz which the viewer can also play along with. Shocking videos max, here AD Inoue invites Arano to his apartment. There he shows Arano a collection of horrific scenes from video games he has captured. 
The show tries to hype up the shocking moments with zoom in, slow motion, and tense music. However, Arano is nonplussed with Inoue's collection of shocking moments, making insincere comments about the scene he was just shown. After all clips have been presented to Arano, he must choose which one shocked him the most, giving a flimsy reason why. <laughs> <laughs> barcode battler. Remember things like scanners where you could take barcodes and use them to get monsters? Those were cool. I never had one, but I wish I did. Instead, I asked my parents for Pox for Christmas because it was more expensive in the Argus catalogue, and my dumbass kid brain thought that because it costs more, it must be better. Looking at this commercial, they barely show you the game, so they knew it was trash. I got the blue one too, even though my favourite colour is red. I wish I got scanners instead. What was I talking about again? Oh right, so Barcode Battler, Arano faces off against one of the crew, scanning barcodes from two games and then Arano bets on which one he thinks will win. I guess I am just nostalgic for these LCD type games, even though they hold no cultural value whatsoever. That and combined with the typical console walls, my game is better than yours, makes for an enjoyable segment. That's not to say that they are all great, there are some that I don't find that entertaining, like video game karaoke, where viewers send in lyrics to video game themes and Arano sings them aloud. I just don't find it that interesting. Or the phone-in consultation, where Arano plays a particular segment and viewers call in to offer advice. But because the segment changes every season, and it's not very long, these don't really bother me. So now I have you thoroughly interested in Game Center CX with my analysis and jokes and such. How do you go about watching the show? Well, okay, so Game Center CX is a terrestrial Japanese show, so you won't find this on your local cable box, and it has no official English release. It used to. Kotaku liced a bunch of episodes to be on their website and packaged them in a DVD. These episodes have an English narrator, and they removed all other segments from the show, leaving it just as Arano's challenge. At least they didn't dub over Arano, so I guess that's nice. So only a handful of episodes have been officially released for the West, but there are a lot of other episodes that haven't been released. So fortunately, you can go to your fridge, get some magnets, and go over to SAGCCX. There you can find a large collection of translated episodes from lots of different seasons. Not all episodes in every season are translated, so if you find an episode on the wiki, it might not have been translated yet. But these guys are doing it for free, so I can't fault them, and there is still a lot of episodes to go through. So how about I get you started with some of my favourites? Before I get started, let me tell you the first season is not as good as the later ones. Arano's Challenge takes up a small portion of the program, with the majority of it being interviews with game devs and such. It's fine on its own, but this is not Game Center CX. You can go back and check it out if you want, but don't blame me if you don't like it. Go by Train. I was unaware of this franchise before seeing Game Center CX, but Den Shadow Go, or Go by Train, is a series of video games where you play as a train conductor. It's a simulation style arcade game where you are judged on your accuracy and speed. Because the trains can't be late. The trains can't be late. The trains can't be late. It's standard fare, but then Arano reveals a secret weapon. I am a sucker for peripheral controllers, and the more specialised the controller, the better. Look how nice this thing is! Imagining playing Tekken on this gives me feelings. From there, the design of the game makes the episode fun to watch. The tension of Arano trying to beat the clock, whilst also trying to break on the right line. It's embarrassingly exhilarating. Quiz episodes. There are a bunch of episodes that revolve around quizzes. Every single one is a must watch. You are very unlikely to know the answer to the questions, because most of them revolve around Japanese general knowledge from like the early 90s and 80s, but the episode gets interesting when Arano calls on the help of the crew to answer questions as well. They have little signs to show which answer they think is correct, but this just seems to make it harder for Arano to choose an answer, especially if he has no trust in the knowledge of the crew. Unless, of course, the super cool Caraman Abe is answering a question that relates to cars or motorcycles. Then you listen to him. 
Summer Games. Lastly, this combines the previous two reasons for positives for an episode. You have a peripheral in the form of the Nintendo Power Pad, and you also have the collaboration from the rest of the crew, as they all cooperate and compete to try and beat all the events. And watching middle-aged Japanese men sweat over a Famicom game is something that needs to be seen to be believed. While these are all a good start, really the best place for you to start is to go see what episodes have been released, find a game you like, and see if it has been translated. Half the time you get lucky and you'll find it has been, but be prepared to be disappointed. I'm still waiting for the Ape Escape episode to be translated. So, that's Game Center CX. If you hadn't heard of this before, I hope you give it a shot, as I truly love this show. Hopefully more episodes get translated, as the show is now in its 25th year of broadcast, and there's quite a lot to go. And with that, the promise I made all those years ago has been fulfilled. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time for our regularly scheduled content. Ta-ta. Arino-san. Oh, hi. How did you do it? What did you do? I was doing it at 11 o'clock, but I was like this. I didn't do it at all. I didn't do it at all. I'm going to say it now! Sorry. I'm going to start. Sorry.